Hey everybody and welcome to Bits of Board, where we're talking board games, miniatures, cards and dice. My name's Michael and today we are doing an unboxing of Siege of the Citadel and this is one of those games I backed this on Kickstarter many, many years ago. And it was one of those games where I was always confident it would deliver, but never knew when. Uh, thankfully, this week it arrives on my doorstep base game and expansion content galore. I went all in on this one for a very reasonable price, I might add. And today's video is basically all about ripping the main box apart. We're going to do the expansion boxes after this one. This is all about the base game unboxing. So I hope you're keen to check out some Space Age minis. Because you know that's where it's going to lead, right? <laughs> so not much more to say here. It's all about the unboxing. So let's do it. All right, guys and gals, here we are. Siege of the Citadel, giant box. Wow. It's a long time coming, guys and gals. Let's not wait another moment. Let's get in there. All right, all right, not too shabby at all. Pretty sweet cover art. That is the classic hero quest slash sci-fi thing. Let's not wait a moment longer. Let's get in. All right, greeted with the rule book. Always a good place to start. Let's see if we can't sneak on through. Lots of rules going on here and lots of art as well by the looks of things. Yeah, very cool, very cool. All right, oh wow, old school. All right, so this is the mission book here. So I won't take long on this because it looks like, oh, hey, big ass list of Kickstarter backers. Holy dooly, a lot of people made this happen. Okay, so digging right through, we have a sheet of stickers by the looks of things. That's gonna be annoyingly fun. <laughs> and we're greeted immediately by the minis and wow, First thing you're going to note is there's colored bases going on. That's crazy. All right, let me just push them off to the side and let's keep moving on through. So we've got cards and I'm hoping for cards galore in here. What's this? We have player boards, health markers, promotion markers, very plasticky. That's kind of cool. I always like it when games give us a way to store our play area. Oh man, pegs, this is so old school. All right, do we go even deeper in here? Yes, we do by the looks of things. Many, many map tiles going on in here. And wow, yeah, heaps of map tiles. All right, so let's have a quick sneaky peek through all of these. Oh, good. I was going to say, some of them have rooms, which is excellent. I was worried they were all going to be arena sized. Um, we've got a couple of punch outs through here. I have no idea what anything it is right now, but that's just for the moment. Oh man, that looks awesome. I love the colors on these doors, these gates. That's freaking sweet. All right, much the same through there. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, this, cause this is going to be amazing, guys. Are you double-sided? Yes, you are. Less cool on this side. That is just freaking awesome. Um, moving on through, we have more, looks like base areas, an infected base area. This is so sweet. Oh, look, and they're all numbered here as well. Definitely coinciding with missions, that's for sure. I love the colors. This is awesome. And last but not least, yeah, very, very cool. So what we have in here, this could be interesting. We've got some more cards, which is great. I'm not going to go through cards because they always, they never come off as good as they are in person. But in here, if memory serves me correctly, we have a terrain piece. That's what this punch out sits on and it becomes part of the game area. What's more, that's what our stickers are for. We are going to stick at these bad boys up and it's going to blend into the game area. How freaking cool is that? What a brilliant idea. Why is not everybody doing this? You've got a 3D game. Use your 3D storage. <laughs> All right, that's, that's pretty amazing. I'm pumped for that. Okay, cool. So guys and gals, we've gone through the box. 
how to look at the contents. We've got a bit of a feeling for what's going on here, but what we've got left that is most important for the unboxing. We have our miniatures and it looks like we've got a fair few to check out here, so better get to it. <laughs> guys and gals it's kind of a momentous occasion it wasn't necessarily one of the first games I backed on Kickstarter but it was one of the first ones that I knew very little about yes I claim to know nothing about the whole Mutant Chronicles world the world in which Siege of the Citadel is actually set but to me right now it looks like it's either inspired a lot of the 40k universe out there or has been inspired a lot by it so it's something I'm looking to remedy I want to figure out a little bit more about this world it's certainly got a very passionate player base out there so guys and gals forgive me if I'm screwing any names and stuff up here but of course correct me down in the comments that's what this is all about right so I'm pretty excited to check out the rest of what's going on here so stay tuned for that and I guess I'm also pretty keen to get this game to the table it's not going to happen immediately Bloodborne is taking up the time right now but uh, it certainly looks like there's a lot of content to explore here so I'll be very keen to get that done too now this is an unboxing after all, so we'll quickly talk component quality. Uh, as you guys saw there and probably heard from my excitement, this game is hitting a lot of marks as far as the color scheme. Everything that is bright is bright and vibrant and it's absolutely gonna pop on the table, which is something that I always <laughs> enjoy. Miniatures, as you can see, pretty damn good. They're not the most detailed things out there. But then again, this wasn't the most expensive game that I bought. So I think the miniatures are a very good quality for what you're paying for here, especially. The only letdown I feel is the cardboard and the cards, which is really unfortunate because there is a lot of that in the game. Despite the fact it is, you know, beautifully colored and all that stuff, it seems flimsy. And I know this because I've dropped one of the tiles onto the corner and the corner went splat, which sucks for me as sort of like a dude that likes to collect these sorts of board games. Um, but also, if you know me, I'm not too fussed about keeping them in mint condition. It just, it sucks that it it's probably not going to stand the test of time if I keep treating it the way I do. So a little bit more care once it hits the table, but that's not something I should really be shying away from. Um, yeah, guys and gals, that is going to be it for this one today. We'll touch more on the quality as we see more of the game, but for right now we will call it there. So if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and do all the things that you guys can do to help this channel grow. But besides that, we are done. So as always, my name's Michael, this is Bits of Boy. We'll catch you next time.